Hello everyone, this is Hunter, and let's play Mogong Solitaire. It only says Mogong, but it's actually Mogong Solitaire. Did you ever play the game Memory when you were a child? Because this is kind of the same idea. So, let's just jump right into it. Uh, let's just jump right into it. There we go. So, uh, where do I begin? At the ends, we have these tiles that are blocking other tiles. The boids go with the boids. That's that's how it works. And you get rid of the tiles on the edges to open up access to tiles that are next to them. West goes with west. Four goes... these are dots, I believe. The dot suit. I don't know what dots are supposed to be, it probably means something in Magong. But in this game, it does not necessarily have anything to do with anything. I really need that five dot... There we go. That was pretty fortunate. Let's see. Mum does not go with winter. I don't know. It's some sort of flower. You can't... I can't get that out there. Let me just match these things, get them out of my way. Everything's in my way. It has to go. All of these directions need to go. This is a dragon grid thing. Uh, oops. There we go. You. Let's see. We have the six bamboo bundle things. Thingies. Can't get rid of that one. We have seven dots. Got you. Dragon symbol, got you. This is not looking too bad. So, I cannot click on these tiles that are in the middle because they're blocked by the tiles on the edge. And obviously I cannot click on the tiles beneath the tiles that are on the top. So I have to sort of plan this out so that it works, so that I get access to the tiles I need when I need them, or I'll get stuck and I'll lose the game. And I lose almost every game. It's like solitaire, you lose almost every game. The message is, you're a loser if you play this game. <laughs> Literally. That's alright. It's a good way to waste time. Two goes with... Uh, I don't see any twos. Eight goes with eight. I don't see another 8 bamboo. 4... 9... I don't see a whole lot of matches here. I don't know about you guys, I don't see much here at all. 7 bamboo. Orchid goes with that flower thing that I don't... can't identify. What else? Alright. Yeah, this, this does not look so bad. This could be worse. It could be worse. Alright, one goes... Well, I can't get to that one yet. There's a nine blocking me. Here's another nine. That's nine dots, that's nine... It's just the number nine. Three dots. I don't see any matches. Dragon goes with the dragon, and I can't get to this dragon. There's no way to do that. Where to go, where to go, where to go. It looks like I've lost this game. Five dots. There we go, six dots. Two goes with two, that frees up this eight down here. That goes with... Well, it goes with an eight, but I don't even see it. Dragon goes with dragon, nine goes with nine. Alright, that's not so bad. That frees up the one here. And this eight bamboo thing. Fives I need to work out watch out for. So I have three east tiles here. I can either get rid of these two here or I can get rid of this one and one of these. So I just have to sort of be strategic with it. I think I'm going to get rid of these two on the top. They're giving me some grief. And what else? This four here. This, this the four has to go. It's, all our fours must go. Right now I can get rid of this dragon. That's good. 
target, frees up this 9 and this 1. All right. So, now what? All right, 5 and 5, 9 and 9, 4 and 4, 7 and 7. Plum goes with bamboo. Hey, this is looking pretty good. I have to get rid of this 3, then I can get rid of this 6, then I can free up this. Uh, uh, here's a little problem here. This 8 dot thing here that's black for some mysterious reason can only be matched with this one, this other 8 dot thing. So I have to clear all of these tiles here in front of the 8 on the other side first, and that does not look easy to do. I'm not saying it won't happen, but like I said, I lose most of these games. There's a reason for this. Whoops. Whoops. East goes with East. Well, what do you know? It actually happened. This is looking like a very good game. Very rare that I actually get this far in a game. Please, I don't want to. I don't want to lose. Not, not after I came this far. I'm just gonna go out here and say it. I won. I actually won. I can't believe it. This never happens. <laughs> I win like 12% of the time. And when you win, you get fireworks. Yeah, you get fireworks. That is so cool. I've never won when I was doing this recording. So here's some statistics for me. I think I played most of these. Games played 229. Those are not full games, I don't think, but they are a lot of games. So it says I won 8% of the game. Huh. So anyway, that was really lucky. Congratulations. Aw, thank you. Do I want to play again? No, I don't think so. That was enough. And it just kicks me into DOS. That's... Anyway, well, I wanted to show you guys some other stuff that you can do in this game, because there's a lot of options. This is the standard uh, layout of the tiles, but you can also go into Setup, and you can change what the tiles look like. You can do flags, for instance. That's kind of interesting. You've got all these... Learn all about the flags. That sounds like, that's like fun. That, there was a memory game like that, wasn't there? And, and but it kind of hurts my eyes after a while. And there's other ones like the Boyds. Ah, the Boyds. Now this is kind of hard to see, but you know, you get the idea. And, the, whoops, sorry. <laughs> and, uh, where is that? There we go. And then you can also change the layout. So the default is this pile, and you can also have things like towers and... So there they are, they're towers, and it doesn't necessarily mean you're getting an easier game, but it's just laid out differently. And there's a, uh, what else? Inverted, uh, anti-gravity. That one's kind of interesting. So you start from the edges, you start from the bottom and you work your way to the top, and you cannot select these tiles here, so that's kind of a challenge. So you can definitely try that out. This game is free. It, well, it's it's shareware. It's genuine shareware from a BBS, and uh, as the screen indicates, it's by Nels Anderson. He has a website, and it's probably called Mogong Solitaire now. This is an old version. But look at all these cool little things you can mess around with. From people playing games back in the day when they didn't have enough to do. All right, so... Next time, we'll try something a little more mm, frame ratey. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.